Today, New Mexico and other parts of the Southwest strongly reflect the presence and influence of Native American cultures. While large cities like Santa Fe have grown up around them, many Native American tribes have continued to live in the Southwest, some of them on their original pueblos. The people uh, living in the greater Southwest, uh, the Santa Fe area specifically, prior to European contact, um, are peoples that we lump together under the term Anasazi, which um, really means ancestral peoples. The people living in that area were farming peoples, living in large villages, and doing the things that uh, we're familiar with, trade, communication, warfare, survival. They had to deal with a weather that was quite capricious, and so the people living there had to utilize certain strategies to get by. They farmed multiple areas at once. People created fields on the mesas and in the river bottoms and in the arroyos so that any one year you would have a crop in any of those places, even if some of those places had failed. The ancestral Pueblo peoples had an unusual system of power sharing. In terms of their social organization, the villages probably had clans that were organized into larger groupings we call moieties, which is a, a, an anthropological term meaning half. During the summer, the summer moiety group would have a leader that would basically call the shots, and the reins of power then would be handed during the winter over to the winter moiety leader. Pueblo Bonito in Chaco Canyon was the largest and most elaborate Pueblo de Anasazis ever constructed. Built sometime during the 10th century, it was abandoned by the 13th century for reasons that are still not entirely certain. It's a huge condo complex of rooms stacked one on top of another, big plazas that we imagine were used for ceremonies, kivas set into those plazas used for rituals and, and meetings of clans and other groups. And so it was a, a seething mass of humanity. The major cultural achievement for the ancestral Pueblo peoples is the perfection, if you will, of village life. The long experimentation they had with living together in large groups, sharing resources, and in many, many cases sharing the same walls. How ritual reconfigures and recreates a village on an annual basis, how a community really does survive together as a community. Unlike most other pre-Columbian Indian structures, some of the ancestral pueblos have survived and are still inhabited, and descendants of the ancestral pueblos still perform many of the traditional rituals.